Tu, qual è la domanda? Ok, I think we are live. Sì. Vedi quando cominciano a ricevere i messaggi? Live chat, a posto. Girati. Can you guys check if we are live on YouTube? Va, va, vedo, Please. Vai. vai con la foto. Vai. Ciao, 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 ciao. Ci... Grazie, Vito. Come? Si brucia con quella fotografia. Chi si brucia? Il vuoi? Lui. Ah. Andiamo, va. Siamo live o no? Uh, can you guys check if we are live? Is live? Perfect. E l'audio? Audio? Waiting for video. And they, uh, they see the, the live. Check the audio. L'audio. See if it works. Welcome guys uh, from Las Vegas Pizza Expo. Show the people here. We're gonna present. Uh, present. We're gonna talk a little bit uh, about uh, the pizza. Uh, the pizza dough that we made yesterday. Correct? Yes, what is it? It's right here. So let's go back here. <laughs> Okay, so guys, uh, who, who, who was here yesterday? Just, just to understand, somebody of you, somebody not. But so, what we did yesterday was, uh, we had some leftover pizza dough, and we made the new dough for tomorrow. So instead of throwing away the dough, we made uh, some new dough. Look at this, perfection. This was a zero yeast added. So, like you can see, the dough blow up anyway. And uh, this is the point that we're talking about yesterday. So this is the point uh, of uh, fermentation, the point that you need to use the dough or you need to put it in the fridge to block. So once you block this in the fridge, you can take it out the day after and use it uh, to make pizza and uh, one hour before to get back to room temperature. And this is uh, uh, how uh, the pizza dough will look. So let's go ahead and let's make it. Michele, poi non è, mettile là con le pizze, là, così faccio vedere questa cosa. Sì, sì. Ma com'è il forno? Eh, si è raffreddato un po'. Eh, si è raffreddato a fare, si vede. Ma anche stava aperto? No, eh, l'abbiamo abbassato a zero. Come sta quel forno? So, we're gonna go ahead and make the pizza. We have to taste test. If you guys were here before, you saw it. We have to test this oven. You guys think that the pizza oven will cook a Neapolitan pizza? That's a deck uh, that rotates. But uh, before, I made it before and the pizza come out really good. So, let me go ahead and show you first uh, how to make a, uh, uh, how to stretch, how to make a Neapolitan pizza. The first thing, the most important thing is, uh, the most hard thing is to take out the dough from the box. Because if you take it out wrong from the box, adios amigos. The pizza will come out square, or you're gonna have problem on the stretching part because uh, you know when the pizza goes back and forth, back and forth. That's because the the dough will go under, so you forget about the stretching anymore. You're not gonna be able to stretch anymore. So I mean, it's gonna be really hard. So this is how you take it out from the box. So put a lot of flour. Don't be shy on the flour. So we're gonna take this out because it's the most difficult one. So cut a little bit, you make sure it's detached from others, from the other balls. And then you put more flour, make sure it goes under. Then like that, you go, you put it on the, on the top. You see, it's no dough that went, uh, it went like that. Because if this one, let's say we're gonna grab this one, but we don't put too much flour, no? Grab it from here. Look what happened. See this? This part, when, if this one is attached like that, this is gonna be super hard to stretch. And it gets nervous, so you're gonna make a hole, or it's not gonna be consistent. Consistency, consistency. You got it, you got it. So anyway, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna make one uh, in this oven, and one in the, I'm gonna cook it in there. You set it up for 20, two minutes. So, in the flour, keep in mind which part is the top part. Because the top part goes on the bottom, in this case there is, uh, uh, it's too sticky. So put flour everywhere, don't be shy, keep the dough, 
keep the dough as uh, like a circle because uh, at this point is when you shape the pizza. Then we we press the air to the crust and take a look at this. When you are here, you give a little bit of uh, uh, like a lock. This way it will pop out the pizza. You, I'll, show you later. I'll show you later what, what I'm talking about. So now I'm just pressing. If you see that the pizza is stretched really quick, you don't touch anymore. So just a couple of times. Take off the flour, press, control the dough by feeling that it's all the same thickness right there. Press. Once you have about 10 inches, keep it like that. Don't touch anymore. So this is the step. One end here, one end here. Make it big, whatever you want to make big. Then find the spot and don't touch anymore because if you're going to touch it, it's going to stick to the table. doesn't matter what kind of table you're using. So we're going to make a classic margherita pizza. Tomato in the center. Grab it from here. Okay. Uh, spoon in the center. And then you go around, around, around. Oh, voila. One turn. This way you have the whole tomato sauce uh, evenly spread. Then we put basil. Try to have just the lead of basil, not the, the whole thing. So if you want to put basil in the pizza, we are going to go in the oven, put it under the cheese. This way it doesn't burn. Then we put uh, Parmesan cheese, if you want to put Parmesan cheese. But honestly, you can put whatever you want. Then you go with the cheese on top. One end like this, one end like this. You just dump the, the cheese evenly, try to cover all the spots. And then at the end, you go ahead and just fix it. No, we're going to put this pizza in there. Aspetta, aspetta, c'è quella di ferro. Vuoi dare quella di ferro? Uh, what else? Uh, see this? The tomato here? That's very, it uh, can be, it's, it's a stupid thing, but it can be really uh, dangerous. It can bounce. So that's how you do it, you fix it. Gr pinch it gently. Take off the, the tomato and put flour. Then put back the pizza like that. That's it. How you doing, my friend? All good, all good. Uh, olive oil. Olive oil on top. Olive oil is for what? What reason? Why we put flavor. olive oil? Flavor. You say flavor. Give it a little more time before it burns. No. Oh, no, no. Olive oil is for one reason. It's not for flavor. Because if you're going to, you want to put it for flavor, you put the olive oil after. Olive oil is to help to cook in the pizza. Helps to cook because of, that warms up. So it gives the, like a kind of a fry texture yes so uh, uh, flour flour <laughs> that and then not not like a pepper thing yeah. Spe especially because you don't have a, we don't have a uh, peel with a hole so we have to really be careful a little bit of flour like that so this is more this is uh, the moment where you need to be secure is the pizza that needs to be scared of you not the opposite. So pinch, look, pay attention to this step. Pinch and turn it. So this way we make sure it's not sticky and you are not scared. So pinch, pinch and turn it. I'm sure this part here is a little bit sticky. So what do you do? Flour right there with the spatula, you go under. That's it. Now flour, then one shot, we don't be scared. Number on the. <laughs> what are, who said that? Rafael. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, we're gonna put this one right there. We, in the meantime, two minutes, we're gonna make another one really quick. Uh, this way, you see the regular speed that was supposed to be made. Not like this slow motion thing. You need to be. Bye. You, uh, so, that oven there is gonna cook. I don't know how it's gonna come out. It's gonna cook the pizza for two minutes and ten seconds. Question? If you guys have any question, please let me know because I'm here to answer all your questions. It makes my job easier because uh, so many things. Even for you, you're, we are on YouTube, so say hi to everybody. You say hi. Alza. 
qua, ora se ne era super tired, non vieni in pizza. They are super tired to eat in uh, pizza. So anyway, so this is the regular speed. We're gonna cook this one right here. My friend Mike here is from Brooklyn. They have a pizza place. I don't know if you guys are from New York. Have in New York, go find him in uh, Mike Manca. No, that's not Salsa. Salsa, right, right. Salsa Pizzeria in Brooklyn. Really good the Neapolitan pizza. Really nice place though. Anyway, I recently have made a video. Uh, so this is the, let's go back here. The right speed, how we, uh, first of all, clean everything. You need to find a spot where to stretch. So this is the part where we stretch, this is the part where we put the pizza. So don't get confused in the wise. You're gonna have all the flour go all, all over the place. And that's not good. So flour a couple of times, a little bit of flour there. So we put the upside down, the top always on top, and then we stretch. Flip it over. Ta ta ta, voila. One, two, and three. I see there is about 10 inches, and then we do the next step, which is this. Done. Come on, sauce. Just one uh, movement, Parmesan cheese, basil. Shabba. I'll make this one with pepperoni. Then a fresh mozzarella, this one. So the pizza at this moment right here is complete. So we're gonna, we're gonna add some uh, pepperoni. I'm gonna make this one pepperoni and the spicy hot honey. Spicy honey, let's see. Then olive oil. Voila, flour, see it's too much flour here, take it off. Same thing here, make sure it's not sticky. Pinch, finger under. Because if you touch too much here, it's gonna come out flat in that part. Bye. Gonna put this pizza here. The pizza is about to be ready there, I believe. I hope for you that it's not burned. <laughs> Yes, sir. So this oven, the name is the dragon pizza. Dragon. The dragon, that's it. The dragon is this guy. Hold on a sec. Oh, hey, look, look at this guy. What are you? Hey! <laughs> Vito is the magic, huh? Voila. The dragon, oh, take off. Two minutes and 10 seconds. So the oven there is gonna cook uh, 300 pizzas an hour. Hour. 270 pizzas an hour. Yeah. Take it out. Let's see. Let's see how this pizza come out. But you have to make them first. It's done. It's out. I think. Uh, I, uh, let me see. Let, let's see here the applause. If it, the more is the applause, the more better is good the pizza. Look at this. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, the and the bottom. We have to see the bottom. I hope that it's not burned. <laughs> oh, perfect. So, let's see the test. The so soft and so crunch. At the same time. We, we have it, we have it. <laughs> anyway, this is the... I mean, look, look at this pizza. I was cooking in a convention over. You still have this black uh, thing. If I get this pizza to a restaurant, I will never... 35 years of experience, I will never tell... Can't tell that this pizza was cooking and kind of over like this. But anyway, now we got that pizza is also ready. I'm gonna put it here this way, you guys all can taste, test it, taste it. If it's disgusting, you guys can leave the exits over there. <laughs> but you know, it's very important the look of the pizza. That's why now, 2024, 2024 we have this trend of uh, the contemporary pizza, blah, 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 blah. It's because it looks good. But to be honest, the contemporary pizza is not so good because it's too soft. We need to find a balance, soft and crunch at the same time. So, don't make, there we go. So once you know you get received the pizza that looks good, your brain says the pizza is good. Look at this, voila. And that's the, that's the one that we made. We got a little bit of a more puffy crust because probably it was utter, utter than the other one. Because some spicy honey, and this is the 
the super. Hold on. No east. Zero east. It's the people that were here yesterday saw how I made this dough. This dough was made with a leftover dough. And you can go every day like that. And, how do you learn and that's that? the result. How do you learn how to do that? We made it yesterday, the dough. I know, but Take the dough. <laughs> Put it in the machine. No, that's a good question. Take the old dough. It doesn't matter how much. Put it in the machine, the mixer, because by hand, I don't know if it's possible. And then you make uh, the same recipe that you do. So you use your dough as a yeast. So don't add the yeast. If you want to speed up the process, lower down the salt. If you want to slow down the process, increase the salt. Try to not use the fridge. The fridge is the enemy of the pizza dough. The fridge blocks the fermentation. Doesn't make the pizza lighter. Doesn't make the pizza more digestible. We need this pizza dough. We uh, it's made with no yeast. So try to not use the, the fridge because this will actually, if I make it today, it's ready in two hours. It's super light. Super light and super digestible. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna cut it like that and then I'm gonna make more because you guys are a lot. Thank you so much for being here and sorry if I talk too much, but I try to explain. Any question? No question? No question? So it doesn't have to be perfectly rare. No, 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 no. That's, a, that's a good question. Did you, did you hear what she said? Round pizza, perfect round pizza, is not Neapolitan style pizza. It needs to be imperfect. Yes. If it's a too much round, come, come close here, get, get the pizza. Get some napkins there. If the pizza is a, a circle, it's not Neapolitan style. It's like a made from robot. We are not robots. We are human. So, so. 2024. What's the question here online? When shall we put the dough in the fridge? So, uh, online they say when we should put the dough in the fridge. When the dough is at the right point of using it. So, this is the point of fermentation because uh, uh, the goal is uh, no, this is the front of the dry. Let me read. Let me explain to you because this is the most important thing here. Okay, uh, this is. Uh, this is the point of fermentation. You need to learn your dough. You need to learn the, the point when you're gonna use the dough or not. Because if you're using too early, it doesn't come out right. If you're using after, it doesn't come out right. So you need to understand when is the point, because that's the goal. You can make the perfect dough that you wanna make, but if you don't, if you don't use it at the right time, forget about it. So we're gonna make more. And uh, if you guys are interesting, you can see up here, I have a master class online. I don't know if you guys got it here, some of you, yes. How is it, good, decent, medium? Excellent. Thank you so much for the support. You guys can square, uh, use the phone, use the QR code there, and you can use uh, at the checkout, uh, Pizza Expo 24, to get at uh, $99 instead of $187. And that's a lifetime access with 24 videos. You can open a business with the course. With $99, you can open a business. I don't know if some people open up already a catering business. You? Next to you, you know, I did. With one, how much you paid? I think I got it when I was at the expo two years ago. Two years ago, yeah. $99. You open up a business today. How is it going, good? I think it, the pizza docs, you. Pizza docs! You guys open up a business too, a catering business. Yes, you. How's it going? Good? It's going amazing, yes. See, the goal was uh, with a small investment of $99, or $100, 147 I don't know how much is it, you can open a business. Some people from being a lawyer, they don't have a catering business, which is much more profitable, by the way. Much more stressful, for sure. What is it they see? Oh yeah, just we just had, uh, like and also we had the uh, gluten-free course. So uh, the plan is to every year to add four or five videos every time. Hopefully, we find that now we're building a studio, so we're gonna add the four to six videos that you guys can have access 
for free if you're already part of the group. Zero is. Yes, sir. The bar. Tora Mare. Tora Mare. No, no, no. Yes. 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 Antonio Caputo Flower. No, no, uh, it's no Mulino Piantoni is no Caputo Flower. We, today we use the, what is it, Mulino della Giovanna. Yes, so it's random of flower. You need to understand what kind of flower you use to be able to use a recipe. So, Michele, make a little bit smaller because these pizzas are uh, too soft. Si, perché sono soft. So, when the pizza dough is soft, make it smaller. This way, it's more easy to make. Se facciamo, che facciamo? Beh, fai una... Bianca, rossa? Bianca, bianca fai una bianca. Con, uh, con niente. Con niente, va bene, e una rossa. I'm gonna make more, this way you guys can taste. We have a few slices here. You guys want? No, 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 no. vai, vai, vai. No, vai, metti la live. Make a calzone. Ah, somebody is asking from YouTube, because we are live on YouTube, to make a calzone. Let's make a calzone. Yeah. No? Everybody, I don't know why so, so many Remember, people are, we, we wants to know how to make a calzone. This one? So easy. This, this one. one? No, no, it's already stretched differently. Okay. No so we're going to make... No more soggy pizza. No more soggy pizza, no. Let's make a calzone. <laughs> we make a calzone typical Neapolitan style. So right now it's put in anduia. Anduia calabrese, anduia calabrese. Scusa, adesso mettete di qua, per piacere, se la mia spalla. It's okay. Si, pane con pizza. The one, uh, I don't want to say bad things, but uh, the exit is over there. For, for the people that are on YouTube, I cannot say the exit is over there. You guys eat pineapple? I see your face. You eat pineapple? No? Good. We are friends now. We are friends. I have friends here that don't eat pineapple pizza. What's the code for the discount for the masterclass? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's a Pizza Expo 24. Thank you so much. He's making a ruota di carro here. Beso? Right. Forget about the beso. Dopo. After. No, after, after. Spicy, spicy oil. Vito. Yes. Do you build more flavor in your dough if you leave it in the fridge for a couple days? Oh, okay. Uh, let me get back there. It's okay. It's too subtle. No. 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 Absolutely no. The fridge, uh, you don't build the flavor, you don't, there's no benefit of putting the dough in the fridge. Okay. No benefit at all. The fridge is to block the fermentation. All, uh, my father, grandfather, they, used, they didn't have fridges to put the dough, so they used to make the dough overproof, put it in the every day, and the dough go back uh, using no yeast with the leftover dough. So the, the dough was super light. You just slow down the process, the natural process. You are killing the natural process. You don't want to do that. So it doesn't help the flavor. You help the, uh, you're going to have more flavor if you're using uh, mother yeast, if you're using Polish, if you're using biga, leftover dough, that's the way how you build the flavor on the dough. With the leftover dough, do you use it like Polish? Like a one -to -one yes. Water no, no. The old, the leftover dough. Yeah. You just grab the leftover and put it there and just add the, the new recipe, like the actual recipe. It's one little water, one kilo, 450 grams of flour, and the 30 grams of salt each liter. No yeast. Because your yeast is the dough. So that's how you do it. Let's make the calzone. What was the flour he mentioned that he uses? No, it's not about... Facciamo il calzone. Come? Okay. Eh, mo' vediamo. So this is how you, we make the calzone here. Calzone is totally different situation how you stretch. Vito, prendo domande. Vai, spara. Can you make a speed dough like two hours before you need it? Yes. Yes, so this, they also the benefit also to, 
using Polish or uh, leftover dough or Biga is that you make the dough and you can use it after two hours because already the process of uh, leavening process and the fermentation process already passed. So technically the dough is already ready to dolce. eat. So it doesn't matter. Dolce, sweet. No, 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 sweet. No, 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 I'm gonna make it regular. Yeah. Oh, attention to pizza. Pizza, don't burn the pizza. We almost forgot the pizza in the oven. Metti la qua, quella, We almost forgot the pizza. Sorry, well done. My, my fault, my fault. Well done. Crunchy. No soft. Metti basilico là, mai. E olio. No. Can I answer this question? No. So let's put this uh, spicy honey with anduja. It's a uh, crown. Uh, that's a, a super uh, well done pizza. The, uh, le puoi tagliare, Michele? With a calzone, be soft and crunchy at the same time. Yes. This tells you that when you have a pizza in the oven, you need to stay in the oven. You cannot walk around or talking about pizza. Correct, Michele? So this is the calzone. So we take it out from the box in the same way. Take out the uh, in the voila in the flour. Normale. So this is how we. See, see, come on, vedo io. This one. Che puoi tagliare questa per piacere? Lo sta. If you guys want to taste it, il la puoi tagliare a tonato. Okay. It's gonna go around, give you some pizza. So this is how you make the calzone, a totally different way how to stretch the pizza. So in the flour, a few times, flour right there, then upside down, remember which part is the top, because that's important when you make a calzone. So you stretch the outside, not the middle. Stre press, sorry, press, the outside and at the middle. Then tap, tap, tap gently. Then flip it over, take off the flour, put the top part on the bottom. Then again, press just the outside. And now tap more. I'm taking off all the air from the, from the calzone. That's it. We don't wanna make it too big, about 10 inches. Then we put uh, whatever we want to put. In this case, we should put uh, some ricotta, uh, spicy salame, uh, whatever you want to put again. <laughs> so in this case, we're putting uh, fresh mozzarella in one side of the, the, the calzone. So this part only. Then, uh, ci posso avere un po' di... Ci sono c'è un salame? Ci avete salame? Salsiccia? Salsiccia. Spoke of sausage. So if you see here, I'm putting the... Uh, the ingredients are upside down. So cheese first, then the toppings, and then we put a little bit of basil, whatever you want to put, and then a spoon of tomato in the center. Try to go not right in the center, just to get a little bit of uh, everything this part. Then hands in the flour, flip it on top. Then we go gentle with the finger closing. You don't want to close too much, otherwise the Dios Amigo is going to have too much dough. Then, move it a little bit, flour, flip it over, press again, flour again, make sure it's not sticky, all, shape of calzone, and tomato sauce and olive oil a little bit of parmesan cheese on top and that's the calzone that was easy but yeah yeah of course that's for you guys the calzone is same thing you pinch it finger under and then go on top we want to shape it like that then we go in the oven aspetta Find the spot, and that's it. So you mean that whole oh. 
Yeah, you have to make a hole on the calzone, yeah. otherwise all the tomato that is inside, or you can burn it, the top, because it will blow up, or all the top is that is in, on the top is gonna fall down. By making the hole, it's gonna stay flat. But still, it's gonna grow a little bit. Uh, yes, question? What do you think of sudo pizza? A uh, what? What do you think of sudo pizza? Sudo pizza. Sourdough, sourdough. Sourdough is not, I, it's not my, my thing. I don't like sourdough pizza. Sourdough pizza is for the, when you make one pizza or two pizza at home. But for business, for, no, don't use sourdough. Doesn't make any sense. People think this gives more flavor. I think sourdough gives you more acid, acid taste. And it's super difficult to control. Which it doesn't make any sense for business wise. Okay, qua c'è un dibattito. Ora. Sì. Una persona che chiede: Have you ever tried another kind of flour, tipo rice or potato flavor? E uno pensa che con questo diventa cracker la pizza. Okay, so this guy is asking: If we had, uh, if we had the rice flour, or potato flour, or semolina flour in the dough, uh, will make the pizza crunchy? Uh, crunchy, it's easy. Lower down the temperature in the oven, and uh, that's how you make the pizza more crunchy, or lower down the hydration. So instead of making 70%, make 60%. They will make the dough more harder. No? I don't know, 70% only. Yeah, yeah, 70% to make it, but if you want to make the pizza more crunchy, lower down the, uh, lower down the, uh, the, the hydration. He say no because the 70% is the perfect uh, recipe. I, in my videos on YouTube, uh, si gira, gira Michele. Ma questa pure si è bruciata. Si è bruciato pure questo. No, no, non lo mettere a terra, non lo mettere a terra, tieni sulla parte. Ma mi serve l'altra parte, questa si brucia. Se no così, se no così un po'. Alza, se non si brucia. Aspetta, wait, one thing at a time. You know what, I'm getting confused here. You give me 15 questions uh, every second. I also, uh, oh, I'm not a computer. I go on, the, uh, on YouTube and find the videos that you want. Uh, by the way, if you want to find a video, go on YouTube, I have 700 videos. This is the calzone. Yeah, the guy here. This guy is from Napoli. You can see there is from Napoli. Uh, and we can see the calzone that is from Napoli too, huh? Accent, very, very Let's American. make a pizza, let's make a pizza. Let's make a pizza. I'm gonna, uh, let's see how this guy makes the pizza. You know how to make pizza? I'm learning, you know. So you anyway. Know from the master. <laughs> Olive oil. I was saying before, the guy there, Vincent, says that 70% yes, and the other rest of the percentage no, because 70% is the perfection. In my videos, 600, 700 videos, is no secret compared to other people that can tell you exactly the recipe, but they give secrets. They don't give secrets away on the process, which the process is everything. It's not the recipe. I can give you the recipe 100%, but the process is the problem. If you don't know what kind of flour you are using, you will mess up 100%. You need to know what flour you are using to create the recipe. Anyway, so now we cut the, the calzone. Yes. Yes. Just asking your name. No problem. My name is Vito Jacopelli. I'm from Bari, Puglia. Torramare. You guys can taste the base, uh, the base, the calzone if you want to. I put right here. Allora, so I was saying, uh, let's see if this guy knows how to make the pizza. Yeah? This way you guys can see the difference. Uh, Raffaele, All right. last name, Iodice. Iodice. Yeah. Iodice, original from the flower, flower. No, it's a it's flower. Enough. more flower. It's enough, chef. Flower. It's enough, chef. You, you scared the flower. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, it's you know. <laughs> it's very important, the flower. Voila. See, it's sticky. Vai piano, che è, è, so, è 75%. So he's stretching now. Press the air to the cross. Actually, Michele, too, is from Napoli. 
but you need more in Brooklyn than that. Bravo, what's up? <laughs> Who is from Italy here? One, let's see. Oh my God. Uh, my followers are from USA. Uh, <laughs> that's a good thing, by the way. No. Bravo. I will not. Parmigiano? Parmigiano, vai. La mozzarella. Che dobbiamo tagliarla questa. Tagliato? Quella là. Aspetta, aspetta, ce l'ho, ce l'ho, ce l'ho. Scusa? No, no, c'è, c'è qua, tieti. C'è quella tagliata. Vai. Make sure to cut the cheese like you can see this way because that's the, the way how you cut the cheese. Mi chiesto Raffaele. Ah, bravo Raffaele. No, bravadissimo, che ti dicevo tutti e tre. Ah? My what? No worries. My name tag. Ah, you don't believe my name is Vito Iacopelli. Vito Iacopelli. Is that mine? That's yours. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, bravo Raffaele. That's the most difficult part here. Can you chef? Where am I? Where am I here? Show me what you got. Bravo Raffaele. It's not easy to make pizza in front of everybody. Yeah, so applause for Raffaele. Dai. Applause. See this? See this? That's what makes the hole on the pizza. We used to make joke between us pizzaioli. When we were busy, you want me, you, I want that the guy in the oven to make a hole on the pizza. I would, it's easy, put a little bit of cheese under, he doesn't see it, he goes and put it in the pizza oven and it will make a hole. He's gonna get nervous. So we were making jokes. Good job. Applause to Raffaele. Bravo, Raffaele, bravo. Bra bravo. The process is not done yet. Yes. A Vito Iacopelli. <laughs> Who is this guy? Uh, by, by the way, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, we are uh, 1 million and 200 thousand subscribers, which is a lot. Bravo. Make sure to watch the video all the way because they almost sabotaged the channel. Insane what they did. Jealousy. There's a jealousy of the people. Maybe, maybe, what they did is uh, they were buying views of, uh, buying abuse is the views is of count 30 seconds. By doing that, the view watch channel goes down, automatically YouTube uh, thinks that that video is not interesting, so it doesn't send the notification of the new video. So the video doesn't make views. And that's how you go in the ocean. We, I spent so much time, money, and uh, to create a video that you didn't know. So it's really stressful. When it does a video, the video. It's okay, that was normal. But uh, that you guys helped me a lot. I tell everybody, like, hey, go watch the videos right now, all the way through. You guys help a lot. By, oh, you oh, see, this is not a good thing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, a fight. Put it in the same spot. He thinks that this is a wood oven. I think I had the oh, fire, you know? You burn the pizza like this, you keep it there. Keep the peel under, check, check, the bottom. One, in an electric oven, if you're going to touch it, yeah, keep it like this. If in an electric oven, if you're going to touch the pizza, and then you put it back, it's gonna burn the bottom. So in an electric oven, you don't touch the pizza, you leave it there and take it out when it's cooked. But probably it's used to it to wood burning over, right? Yeah. I can tell that. Bye. Pizza is ready. No, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Rafael. He wants to show off, but that's still if my. If we have the chance, let's make it right, you know. Otherwise, the chef is gonna fire us. Bravo. Bye. Okay. T uh, applause. Good job. Great cross. I wanna make it bigger because uh, this way you don't have you have less dough in the cross. But that's a great pizza. Facciamo la foto. Facciamo la foto. Facciamo vedere il subscribe right there. Can you Desi take a picture for us? Bye. 
Auto. Beso A, ah, bravo Raffaele. Poi me la mandi? Thank you. Anyway, Can I got it? Uh, thank you so much guys for being here. Uh, again, thank you so much for subscribing. If you are interested on the masterclass today, we have a special code which is uh, Pizza Expo 24. Go on the checkout. Go and uh, Pizza Expo 24. That's the QR code. Easy. And you learn how to make pizza from scratch. Thank you so much. Applause for Raffaele. And I'll see you, I'll see you at 3 to make a new pizza. Thank you. Thank you for picture. Come here. Bye. For a photo. Bye. Photo. If you guys want a picture, bye. Ora. Now is the time. I'm gonna get some questions right there on YouTube. Don't worry about it. Wait right there. Right, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Aspect. Oh. Wait. Wait. I watched every, every. Wait. Wait. I watched every YouTube video you did, and you told. Hold on. Oh, uh, Florian, come here one second. I gotta say something. Oh, where are we gonna see? Okay. Where's the f picture? The phone. Nice. Nice. Right here. You this one. Bye. Uh, Florin, come here one second. I'm gonna say this because we are live on YouTube. Florin, here. Live on YouTube. You talk yeah, yeah, yeah. through YouTube. Thank I you watch so. you do COVID. I started my own pizza Make sure business. you keep watching the video. I then always, the COVID but what is happened? Up. What happened with YouTube? They took you off and now Forget you're back about. on? It's Forget not, about it. It's not, it's not YouTube. The, some haters or some uh, right. jealousy guy were buying the view, fake views okay. to put down the watch time. By doing that, the, uh, YouTube doesn't promote anymore the video doesn't send a notification because thinks that the video is not so interesting. what can we do to help you watch the video all the way okay. that's the only way we're gonna do that for it's me. free you mean a lot to me because like thank i said you. and i donate the money to charity that i make thank you so much right i appreciate on. it you're, thank you're you the, you're the bomb for the nice support to meet you. floor in here hold on a second yes Ti amo. Ti amo I, love too. I love you too <laughs> floor in here is the my new probably uh, partner on the merchandising store that we are going that's to it. open where is the t-shirt they're all gone. Right here, turn, turn right here. Let me show. <laughs> this is our, the new, this are just made for the, sorry, but we give it away, all of them. You didn't make enough, uh, only 50. <laughs> this is, uh, oh, they are too. Uh, we are uh, making a new store online that we're gonna launch soon, probably in one week, hopefully. Two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. And uh, new, designs. new design and everything, you can find that on uh, my social media, on Instagram, we're gonna launch that, and on YouTube too. So, and the prices are really good. That's right, and good quality t-shirts. Of course, yes, look at this. The best. <laughs> that's, that's one of the, that's $40. This Forget is about built. This. Built. No, this is good quality too. I watched this uh, yeah, yeah, 25 no, times yeah, in my house. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, sure. Not this, this uh, the, the one before. 25 times it stays, uh, but I like the, the, the puffy, the puffing. The puffing. Yeah, ink. we'll do that too. Thank you so much. What's the name of the company? Print and Cultivate. Print and Cultivate Out in Irvine. California. Irvine. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Are you leaving now? I'll see you, Bella. Uh, we're going to build yeah. some, uh, yeah. some t shirt this I'll week. Ciao. Ciao, Flori. Yes. Hey, we're going to attack. Oh, with us. Yeah, come by. I'm going to pay you for the 50 t shirt. <laughs> there you go. Okay, bye. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, I'm serious, uh, <laughs> Florin. I'm going to pay for the 50 t shirt. I'll call you. I have you on, on, on video. Just okay. <laughs> Bye. Sorry, guys. He's a, he's a great guy. We, we're doing some nice um, soft and crunchy shirts. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the support. Vieni qua. Don't worry about uh, my sister. My sister does uh, the Instagram uh, page. She answered the. Uh, so if it, you don't see my answer on Instagram, Hello. it's uh, her fault. <laughs> it's her fault. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Videos got me into making pizza, so I want to thank oh, you yeah? for sharing with you. What you were doing before? Uh, I'm in the military, so nothing. But <laughs> thank I, you so I much for your pizza, service. So you still in the military? I am. So is my Great. wife. Thank you so much for friends. the service. Yes. yes. Yep. What is it? Uh, Marines? Air Force. Oh, Air Force. Oh, yeah. my, that's yeah. it's tough. <laughs> tough training, man. Yeah. I did two years in a long time ago in Italy. Marines. <laughs> thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much. Thank you again. And thank you so much for the service. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Vito is my mozzarella. Vito is my mozzarella. Wow. Thank you. Puoi spegnere. Hello. Want to get a picture of 100 you years. That's 100 nice years of being on top. 
Oh shoot, nice, that's mozzarella. <laughs> no, no, salsiccia. Salsiccia. <laughs> Sals <laughs> Salsic. Thank you so much. Uh, How's it going, man? You subscribe to the channel? Absolutely. Yes, okay. Spicy swashish is the best. <laughs> Bye. All right. Thank you Thank so you. much. I'm subscribe, man. Thank you for the support. I've been watching since day one. Yeah? Since day one. Years and years in your videos. Serious? Yeah, I'm serious. You really yeah. believe that? Yeah. Oh, I know it. Thank you. I started this pizza company because of you. I planned a YouTube channel long time ago. Yeah. But was tough. Long time ago, was tougher than now. Yeah. Now it's easy to. <laughs> now it's more easy with all the social media. Long time ago, was no, yeah. was Thank no you, uh, way to promote. Right. You know, I was the first one on YouTube on making pizza videos. I know. The really first one. Yeah, that's why I started watching. Because I was really mad with the people from Naples because they were charging so much money on uh, pizza courses. Really. So I said, I'm gonna learn. And give everything for free on uh, yeah. YouTube this for people that can afford to buy the the course, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too, sir. Bye. Bye. I lay in bed with my wife and I and watch your videos on YouTube. Stick up. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You help me with my dough making. Don't be shy. Come on, let's look up each. We started a little pizza bistro in Buffalo, New York. Nice. So Catering done. business. No, we had a uh, little Hello. 600 square foot shop. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Just Perfect. us. Don't do it bigger. Yeah. No. Perfect. We love it like that. <laughs> Grazie. Thank, Thank you. you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I want a photo. Bye. I'm a fan first. Span spicy olive oil. Yeah. Big fan, regardless if we do business or not. Thank you. No worries. These guys make the spicy olive oil. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, my friend. Going back to Mexico, man. Oh, ho. all in Mexico. You flying there? Yeah. Monterrey. Thank you Monterrey. Much. Wait right there. Quanti ne abbiamo? Quanti abbiamo in persona? Abbiamo? Wow. Eh, sì, sì, sì. Don't worry. I'm gonna come there to you guys. Yeah, in the back. In the back. Oh, we, gotta, we wanna get the we gotta get the back of our shirts too. <laughs> hey, tag me, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Send it to me. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you, yeah, guys. Thank you, Vito. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, how long are you being here? Are you going to give us a day? A little or? bit, yeah. And then uh, tomorrow when I'm not coming. Okay. okay. We'll come by and say bye to you yes. before you leave, okay? Yes, yes. Thank you for everything, Vito. Thank you. Vito. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao, my friend. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching all the time. I hope this video will help you. I'm going to keep this for about 30 days. And then I'm going to make this available for the members. Thank you so much. If you're watching this video, Make sure today and tomorrow we're gonna leave the uh, the code for the master class. Come here. The code for the master class. It's okay. The code for the master class is uh, Pizza Expo 24. You get it for $99. I should not do this because this is for people that come here in the Pizza Expo, but you guys deserve because you watch the video. Thank you so much. Yeah, see you soon. Ciao. Sure. And grazie for my sister to. Uh, to make the the video, the video. <laughs> ciao